in 2012 when Hurricane Sandy left a path of destruction, especially in local neighborhoods along the shore. Well, after nearly a decade, neighbors on Vincent Avenue in Throgs Neck, they're getting a new seawall. News 12's Carmen Grant has reactions from neighbors who have been dealing with flooding for years on their block. Even though it's been nearly a decade, neighbors in Throsneck still remember the devastation of Hurricane Sandy. This whole street was a river. It was a disaster. Construction is now underway to build a new seawall at the end of Vincent Avenue. The new structure will replace the previous aging sea barrier that weathered storms over the years. Richard Bonilla says his basement was left with four feet of water after Hurricane Sandy. The sewer back up, it was coming out through here, pouring like a waterfall. Fed up neighbors banded together years back to push the Department of transportation to construct a new storm wall, but the $2.6 million project had previously stalled and was further delayed by COVID. Neighbors contacted their local assemblymen who got the project moving again. They came to my office and let me know about it. And uh, um, I saw the conditions that, that that was happening and daughter was intolerable. And uh, this had to be done. The city's Economic Development Corporation, which is overseeing construction of the new 100 year flood wall, says, quote, we understand the importance of this project to the Throsneck neighborhood. Once the work is complete, the community will be better protected from significant flooding caused by storm surge. Meanwhile, Bronx sites here are breathing a sigh of relief, knowing a new seawall is finally being built. It's important that the city is doing this. I'm at peace because this is going to work just fine. The project is scheduled to be completed between three to six months. In Throsneck, Carmen Grant, News 12.